Hello everyone, my name is Ravi Connect. In this video, I'm gonna be doing do DoorDash and Uber Eats for the next 48 hours and see how much I make. So tomorrow, September 6th, is Labor Day. It seems like there's more opportunities to make money on these two apps uh, because of the holiday. So I want to see how much I can make in this time period. I'm gonna record the process. So before I get into it, I wanna talk about two things, how promotions work, both for DoorDash and Uber Eats. Promotions on DoorDash work by plus $1.50 to up to $3 um, per delivery and in certain time uh, frames. And then how it works for promotions on Uber Eats is for each delivery you get a certain type of boost depending on the region that you're in or a, a certain multiplier of boost for the type of region that you're in. But then they also have what are called quests and it's like basically complete this many trips, you get this amount of extra dollars. Behind me, you can see a whole bunch of numbers uh, and that's what I'm gonna talk to you uh, about right now. I'm gonna break down basically my plan for the next 48 hours on how I can see about making as, most, as much money as possible with Uber Eats and DoorDash. So we'll start with Sunday. So today is Sunday the 5th, Sunday the 5th, and it's about 4.30 p.m. right now. Uh, for DoorDash, starting from 5 p.m. until midnight, they have a promotion of plus $3 for every delivery that you complete. So I have basically 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to midnight, DoorDash, equals DD, Uber Eats equals UE. For every order and delivery that I complete, I'll get $3 on top of the, of the uh, general fare and the tip. So then plus $3 on top of that. In this time frame, Uber Eats doesn't really have any uh, quests going on there. So I'm probably gonna stick mainly to DoorDash in this time frame or the rest of today. Sunday the 5th. Now, if we turn over to Monday, which is Labor Day the 6th, Monday, Labor Day the 6th, we have it starting from 1 a.m. going all the way to midnight. And with Uber Eats, they have a quest going on from midnight to 4 a.m. And the quest is, if you complete six trips, six deliveries, you'll get an extra $9 for whatever you make. So the way Uber Eats works is you get a, a general fare and then you get tips. And then on top of that, if I, when I complete six trips, I'll get an extra $9. Um, the difference between Uber Eats and DoorDash when it comes to pay is DoorDash is usually like an upfront, this is what you're gonna make on this delivery. Uber Eats on the other hand is, here's what you're, you could expect to make and then about an hour-ish after uh, you complete the delivery, a uh, tip will pop up. So sometimes like the expected pay was say $7. Sometimes people tipped more than the expected pay, so I got like maybe eight or $9, or they didn't uh, tip the expected pay, and I got like seven or $6 to that when I was supposed to get $7. So that's kind of how Uber Eats works compared to DoorDash. I do want to utilize or take advantage of these quests that Uber Eats has going on. So from midnight to 4 a.m., I just need to complete six trips and I'll get an extra $9. So I'm hoping I can complete that by at least 3 a.m. Uh, and then I have on here from 3 a.m. or whenever I get done, I'll drive back home. Then from 3 a.m. to 10 a.m., uh, that's when I'll sleep. And then I'll just wake up, make some food right away, basically get back out there. Because starting at 11 a.m. and from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., Uber Eats has another quest that you can do. From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., if I complete eight trips, I'll get an, elect an extra $11. So. I want to take advantage of that. I'll be doing that. And then from 2 p.m. to uh, to 4 or well, till 5, I'll be probably taking a nap right when I get back. And then I'll eat um, the other half of my meal that I'll make around this time. And then I'll just get right back out there because of, there's another Uber Eats quest. Uh, there's three Uber Eats quests tomorrow, Labor Day, the 6th of September. Uh, and the last quest for Labor Day is from 5 p.m. 
to 10 p.m. If I complete 10 trips, I'll get an extra $18. And that one, I'm excited for. Don't know how I'm gonna be feeling around that time. Probably maybe a little tired, exhausted. It's supposed to be like mid 90s tomorrow in the summer of Austin, Texas. So we'll have to just roll with the punches and go with it. I'll definitely be probably taking a lot of breaks, a lot of water breaks, probably be buying some Gatorades and uh, electrolyte style stuff. These are the quests, these are my strategy. One of the things I'm gonna bring with me is a stick of deodorant because I'll probably smell or begin to smell and I don't want people to smell me and I don't wanna smell disgusting. So this is the plan, let's begin. gas tanks so and now I have a full tank of gas and with that being said let's go online here signing into DoorDash here I'm at my current weight spot dash now we're going till midnight on the DoorDash let's do this all right so I was kind of sitting there for about 10 minutes waiting on a DoorDash order to come in. Uh, so nothing happened. So I decided to open up Uber Eats and see what I could get. I ended up getting two, uh, two orders back to back. So I just got done completing those. A quick little $7 um, plus some tips hopefully coming in on that. So now I'm going to go back to DoorDash, see what we can get on there. Uh, and hopefully start making those plus three bonuses. DoorDash done of the day. Uh, got a nice eight dollars there. Let's go ahead and complete this. Complete satisfaction. Short. Yes. 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 Confirm. So I denied two orders since last time. It gives me orders that are like eight miles outside, and I'm really trying to stay in the area that I'm in right now. So. My acceptance rate is pretty low. It's in the 30s. Like here's another one. $11.25 for 7.8 miles. No decline. Distance is too far. Every time someone orders cookie rich, it always wants me to go like 10 miles outside the city. No distance too far. Submit. If you can see here, we're almost two hours in at 31.83 plus the about eight dollars plus the about eight dollars on Uber Eats. Um, not really where I want to be, but we're rolling with it. Just got one. Ooh, 18 eighteen dollars for five miles. Let's do it. Let's do a little time warp here.
show you what we got. It's currently 8.13. So far we've got about $64.58. And then including the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Uber Eats. So, it's kind of cool. Uh, I'm taking a quick little breather here. Probably going to find myself a bathroom. I don't know what's going on over there, but something's happening. It looks like there may be an unexpected storm coming south. There's lightning over there. Not sure if it's lightning lightning or heat lightning, but I see it. And it got pretty windy here, uh, so hopefully the weather stays calm so I don't have to call it early or just sit. So the plans changed. I'm going to probably go back home right now. It's about 10 and the rain kind of let up a little bit, so I want to get some sleep. I'm gonna pass up the uh, uh, quest happening at midnight tonight, and I'll just get back on it in the morning, uh, and then get on the lunch quest, and then the later night quest, but didn't really sleep a lot last night, and I want to catch up on sleep, so. This is what I ended with, 81.90 for four hours and five minutes and to be honest i sat around <laughs> for like two hours because i didn't know if it was going to rain a lot or not so uh i definitely could have got more but oh well we'll come back tomorrow i'll see you in the morning good morning everyone time is currently 8 11 a.m on labor day monday the 6th the plan for the day is to do the two quests, one starting at 11 to 2 p.m. and then the other one from 5 to 10 p.m. And it is around eight right now, so what I'm thinking about doing is eating some tortillas and then sitting at Starbucks, uh, kind of from like 10, 10.30 to 11, drink some coffee, do the first quest. That's kind of the plan, let's do that. It's about 9.51, almost 10 a.m. Uh, I've been sitting on Uber Eats for a while here. I uh, haven't really been getting the best of orders, uh, but this one, I opened up DoorDash. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this one. 3.2 miles for $7, and it's in an area that I would like to be in, so let's do that one. things that gets a little frustrating is it's like it shows that I was supposed to deliver to this building so I started here but I had to end up going all the way over there which is which takes maybe like an extra two three minutes two three minutes just to get there and find the location so that probably just comes in when I know the area a little more and I know exactly when I've delivered to this building a couple times I kind of understand how the uh, rooms are set up and laid out so just got our first delivery done with DoorDash. Saturday night, stayed up until like three in the morning because uh, we had a party and I drank a little bit and I am still trying to recover from that. I can feel it. <laughs> it's not the funnest, so. So the quest has begun. Let's just see details. Eight trips, $11. Let's do that. How fast can I get to eight trips? Because after this, I'm gonna go eat some food. Oh, let's not stop that. Let's go. Go. Bing. It's been about 10 minutes already. It's about 11, 12. Uh, and I've, only, I've got two orders that came in, but they were about, they were double stacked orders and about 13, 11, 
miles and 13 <laughs> miles outside. I don't want to do those ones, so sitting and waiting. One of the things I'm noticing is that DoorDash is a lot more active in Austin, Texas. Just maybe gonna do Uber Eats just for the quests. We'll even see if they pay off. So we just got that stacked order, completed two deliveries. Uh, in one, it is currently 11.51, waiting on a new order to roll in so that we can re reach that eight trip mark. Time is currently 1.16. For the past like hour or so, I actually turned off Uber uh, and just did some door dashes to get some quick in there. Seems like I've been waiting a lot uh, on Uber Eats. The deliveries that they do give me are like 13 miles outside. so. I'm gonna try again for this last 45 minutes to see if I can at least get the extra $5 that they're offering. Uh, if not, well, give it a shot. The time is currently 4.43 p.m. I wrote down what we made for the day so far. 41.01 on Uber Eats, 33.78 on DoorDash for a total of $74.79. And for DoorDash, I did two hours and 14 minutes. That is dashing total time, not active time. And then Uber Eats, I did two hours and 56 minutes for a total of five hours and 10 minutes. And then I did the math. It came out to be a little less than 15 an hour, which is definitely not what I want. Uh, so, Let's go try to do better. part of the quest got a I think extra six dollars there and then someone just tipped me Woo. yes let's do that one the time is currently 8 18 uh, do I just sat in Starbucks for about 20 ish minutes just to rest Currently at 129.02 on Uber Eats. Uh, it started to rain again and lightning, so I'm under the cover. I'm gonna play it out, see see how this this goes for the next 45 minutes. Hopefully, it goes away. <laughs> it is Tuesday the seventh. The final numbers are in. On Sunday, we made. $112.61. It took me six hours and 27 minutes to complete those, and I completed a total of 13 deliveries. Monday, Labor Day, I made a total of $192.33. Took me eight hours and 52 minutes to complete that, and I did about a total of 19 total deliveries in that day. Total coming out to be $304.94 in a total time of 15 hours and 19 minutes and a total of 32 deliveries. I did the hourly rate. I kind of just rounded down to 15 hours total. Hourly rate came out to be about $20.33 per hour before taxes and before like gas costs and all of that. I probably could have done a little better. Um, and to be honest, especially on Sunday, I spent roughly 
two hours just sitting there kind of waiting out the rain and a little bit on Monday as well. It's probably going to be a little bit more than $20 an hour. I'm still trying to figure out how best to use these apps and get the best uh, deals. This is in the past 48 hours, Sunday the 6th, no, Sunday the 5th, Monday, Labor Day the 6th. I made a total of $304.94 in a total of 15 hours and 19 minutes spent actually on the road and made a total of 32 deliveries. Our really rate came out to be 20.33 roughly per hour. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Love you. Bye.